Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes on YouTube, and you can also follow me at annemakes.blogspot.com, of my blog where I share lots of DIYs and how-tos, and especially crafty stuff, and some home decor too, and organizing, and oh, there's lots of stuff over there. So, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, please subscribe. Either hit the subscribe button below, or hit the uh, little icon with uh, and makes in the corner there so I have another uh, Dollarama haul to share with you this morning Dollarama is a chain of dollar stores that we have here in Canada where the items range from one to four Canadian dollars and I just finished filming one part of that haul but it's a big haul so I've uh, separated it into a couple videos so the first thing I want to share with you is some crafty items uh, that I picked up. There wasn't a lot that I was new to me at my Dollarama this week, uh, but I did pick up this. This was in the crafty stuff. It's a little Hello Kitty notebook. I thought it was very sweet, and it's like a little ornament with Hello Kitty. And this is a 60 sheet spiral notebook, and it is one dollar. So very sweet little stocking stuffer. I picked up some jute ribbon. I like this pattern. It's kind of a chevron or striped white and beige. So I got that. There's not that much in here. There's only two meters for a dollar twenty-five, but it's still it's just enough sometimes for a project. And I got two of this one, the jute, uh, more like a wavy. Uh, jute with uh, like a burgundy color and well these are all $1.25 and there's two meters in each one. Uh, this was new at my Dollarama and they didn't have a lot of these. Uh, fashion Bondex. Fashion Bondex. So it's just some lace. A little bit of lace and it, blah, it is two inches wide and there's 36 inches on here for $1.25. So basically you get a meter for a dollar twenty-five. And this uh there's a lot less on here. It's four inches wide, and there's only 18 inches, but it's this nice white lace, and this is a dollar twenty-five. Uh the next items I'm going to show you, they're not crafty, but they're really important at this time of year. I got some the uh Canuck brand shoe protector rain rain and stain uh, protector for our footwear this is a can for three dollars which is a really good price because uh, similar products at uh, Walmart and other stores is much pricier than that and I also picked up several boxes of the Canuck uh, all-purpose shoe cleaning wipes you get 20 in here for a dollar 25 now, uh, at home, I just use baby wipes because I, I buy them for crafting and just quick cleanups. Uh, but on the go, I thought these would be really practical for um, my husband and myself to keep in uh, our, our briefcases or my purse, for example, or some at his office uh, because it's very important that your shoes look good when you go to a meeting <laughs> and at this time of year uh, and it's not it's not happening yet but we will be heading into salt season that we like to call where um, our footwear is often affected by the slush and the salt that is used to melt the ice so then we always get that like white band on our shoes and our boots so uh, this will be a nice thing to have on hand to do a quick cleanup so in the Christmas Village section I picked up some logs some fake little logs <laughs> they're so funny and I thought to myself yeah I can make something like this with some twigs probably but uh, I just bought one of these to remind myself I should make my own little log pile from twigs for my little uh, Christmas village. But come on, these are a dollar fifty for two of them. Can't pass that up. I mean, a dollar fifty is—it's not really worth making it yourself if you 
if you can get your hands on these. So um, this will this will work in the Christmas village. This will work in fairy gardens. This will also work for um, my mixed media shadow boxes. There's so many things to do with these little miniatures. Uh, it's it's a good time to stock up on these little miniatures. That's what I call them miniatures because that's what they are. They're small things. Um, some more village accessories. I got the couple of trees here with the green sparklies and some with the gold sparklies and these are a dollar fifty each i picked up some of these lovely gift tags you have 16 in here for a dollar 25 i just thought these were really pretty i like the colors and the pattern of the mittens and the stocking there so I got these and they open up like a little card. They're round like an ornament and they open up like a card. I also got some of these gift card holders because I thought these were very appropriate. These are really nice uh, for us to use the holidays to uh, present a gift card to uh, people you know that work for us and that's just to give them a, a gift and this is kind of appropriate. It's it's appropriate for men, it's appropriate for women. Um, so, got that one. And this I got because I'm an animal lover and I just think they're so cute. Uh, so these are also gift card holders, but I could use these for anything really. But I got them just because there was a kitty and a puppy. And I have so many Christmas cards and I can make, I make my own Christmas cards and I keep buying them and anyway but I couldn't resist I just thought this was a beautiful card uh, I love that the blue with the silver and it just says happy holidays I picked up these sweet little what are they called they're called gift card holders they're like these little bags and they have a little velcro it's just like a little little handbag and this one has got this pretty plaid and black which says Noel and the, the other one, I really like this print. And I picked up a few of these just because I want to have uh, several of these on hand for some future projects, uh, crafty projects. I'm thinking, yeah, these make lovely, lovely uh, gift presentations, but I thought the crown and the chevron uh, would be really nice in some sort of journal, junk journal or other crafty project and so the two of these are a dollar and they have so many prints they have very traditional Christmas prints they have lots of the blue ones with the snowmen on them uh, there's quite a there was quite a selection at my store anyway but these are the ones I chose I picked up some more socks in the hopes that I will someday make a sock snowman like Cher did on crafty Cher cupcake and <laughs> I figure if I don't make snowmen before the holidays, maybe I could add, I could make bunnies. I could add ears to them. But anyway, I got this so I can hopefully make some pretty hats for my snowmen or bunnies or whatever. And these are a dollar fifty. And I wanted to do like shares and to do. I found these cute little reindeer socks, these little children socks, and I thought, oh, wouldn't these make the cutest little sweaters for my snowmen? I thought so. Or I could always like, I'm thinking I could keep an, I, I could cut these up and maybe I can make a toy for my cat, put catnip in it and just give her a little toy. And these ones are a dollar. So cute. I wish they had bigger ones like this. I just think it's really cute. They're really cute reindeer. So I got those. I got snowballs. They have these fake snowballs. They're, they're like, um, I don't know, they're like fake. They're not wool, they're polyester for sure. But, <laughs> so you could throw snowballs without hurting someone. I mean, this is so funny. Anyway, so for those of you who do not have any snow, you know, maybe I could ship you some fake snowballs so you could throw snowballs at each other. I'm thinking of, I have friends who live in Australia. <laughs> 
maybe I should send them some of these so they'd have some snowballs to throw around. But since my cat's name is Snowball and she loves to play, she loves to chase and, and she will she will catch these mid-air, literally, and she'll <laughs> like bounce them back like a volleyball. So uh, I actually got these for us to play with in, inside the house and to uh, play with the cat, but not really to throw around because I don't want to break anything. And these are $2 for the four. And it's funny because there were two types of packaging, but they're the same price and they're the same thing. So uh, yeah, these I got. Had these packages of uh, craft, they call it craft ribbon. There's only two meters on each roll, but they are a dollar twenty-five, and they came in this combination of the, uh, you know, ordinary, regular burlap color and green, and the uh, Christmassy red or burgundy, and uh, regular burlap. And there were four packages left on the shelf, and I just took the four packages. I was in need of some hand soap for the, my boys' bathroom, but I saw these ones and said, oh, I have to get these. Uh, I know, it's just, the, you're paying for the label, and I think these are $2.50 a piece. I'll try to find the price on the receipt, but uh, they're just so cute at this time of year. And they're the foaming kind, so the pump um, is the what makes it foam, so you basically can refill these with a bit of soap and water afterwards and just create more foam. So I got this one, the soft soap. It, they're all soft soap and I got one of each motif that they had. A little penguin and the gingerbread man. So that'll be for my, um, my boys' bathroom. I picked up this snowflake garland. It is felt snowflakes. It's really, really it's really pretty and uh you get doo, 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 doo. you get 1.5 meters on here so you get five feet of this snowflake garland it is two dollars so basically i found these rolls of thin felt that are great for die cutting there is uh, about five meters on here or 16 and a half feet. They are four and three quarter inches wide. They're two dollars a piece. They had them in white, red, this pink color, uh, this blue, this other blue. Uh, yellow, purple, this golden color, black, green, brown, and gray. I think the gray is my favorite here. Uh, and I, if I I think these are just so pretty, I might just use them as a decoration in my craft room, just a display of these rolls of felt. They're just so pretty. <laughs> so I got that. So the other roll I picked up is this decorative garland, which is basically burlap and lace. And it has finished edges, nice overlocked uh, edges here so it doesn't fray. And this is five inches in width. They're five inches wide, 177 inches in length. That's how much material you get. And these are 350. And they had different types of laces. I chose the one that was more flowery. So that this was pretty, pretty good deal um, for the amount of product that you get. I saw this Betty Crocker parchment paper uh, with these uh, golden colored holly leaves and I got these because I thought these would be pretty to like, you know, put in a box to serve, uh, present some cookies or muffins or cakes as a gift or just even to present on the table. And there's actually more than one motif in here because I just noticed there's snowflakes, so it's quite pretty. And you get eight sheets for 
$1.50. Found some more of these locker bins in pink. These are $2, so I picked these up. And I picked up this kit of You Create It for uh, greeting cards for inkjet printers. So I think I paid a dollar for this because I looked on my receipt and uh, it's the only thing I could find was greeting cards, $1. So, uh, yeah, so I got this, and you can make 10 cards. There's 10 cards and 10 envelopes in here. So I just bought it because of the blank greeting cards that are in here. So you get 10 for a dollar, so that comes out like to 10 cents a card. Yeah, so that's pretty good if you need some blank cards. Here's a fun new item that I saw at Dollarama. It is uh, the home collection from Post-It. It is a little board. It's really hard to explain, but it is meant to go on a wall or anywhere. And it has these slots to hold little papers. And it has a little um, dry erase board on it to write notes. And uh, I just thought these might be handy. This one is uh, basically like a stainless steel with a uh, white um, rubbery grippy things in there <laughs> and it is uh, three dollars and fifty cents and I think I got two of these I'm hoping that I will be able to use these in my new office if it ever gets built it's not stainless steel it's just a plastic that's made to look like stainless steel and oh correction it's not a dry erase board it's actually a uh, post-it note so you have post-it notes here and you have these grippy things that can hold like uh, mail or other papers cards things like that so you could just like stick something in there and it holds it yeah, kind of like this and it holds you know whatever paper you have so uh yeah, I thought these might be handy for me to have in my office. I actually got two of these. I could not resist this lovely, lovely journal. For $4, you get this be beautiful kind of leatherette bound with foil, uh, embossed foil design on here, some flowers. It has the little metal corners very very pretty and inside the pages are just ever so lovely um this is a great a great journal to have kind of vintage looking inside uh the pages are decorated they're lined and decorated there's also a section with black pages um i guess to do some drawing with inks and yeah, so I just thought it was, was a really pretty journal. I could not pass it up. So I got this for $4. I also got these Wilton candy cups, uh, 75 count with the red metallic. These, uh, I'm thinking of a crafty purpose for these more than uh, for bonbons. And speaking of bonbons, I got the lifesavers from the Holiday Mix. Uh, these are a lot of fun because you get the mint, cherry, and candy cane flavored lifesavers, and they're all individually wrapped. So, in a bag like this, my apologies, this is not mint, this is apple. So, apple, cherry, and candy cane, and there's 227 grams of these lifesavers for $3. Are the Viva Puffs candy cane cookies? My, my guys love to eat these, especially my older son. He loves, he loves cookies, so I got these for him especially. And these are $2 at Dollarama. Last but not least, they had some of these like magazine uh, bins. They are the tough plastic. They have them in teal, purple, and red, I believe. And uh, I just took this color, so I am doing some cleaning and organizing in our current home office and I am just in need of things like this to put in the cupboard to store. Different kinds of file folders, page protectors, all sorts of office supply things. So I got those. 
And finally, that is that for my really big Dollarama haul that I had to split up the videos. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And uh, please uh, take care of yourself, and I'll see you after the next video. Bye!